Mariposa County at the foothills of one of America's most iconic sites of natural beauty, Yosemite, now in flames. The fire, which started on Friday, is consuming forests and engulfing homes. High winds and bone-dry temperatures have fueled a blaze so large that it can be seen from space. Smoke billows for miles. Firefighters battle to contain the inferno from the air as hundreds tackle it from the ground, but they're still struggling to get it under control. It's a terrifying, apocalyptic, yet increasingly common scene in the US. In excess of 35,000 wildfires like this one have impacted nearly 5 million acres, or roughly 2 million hectares, this year alone. As California burns, much of the rest of the country is experiencing a heat wave. Advisory warnings are in effect in dozens of states. Across the south, temperatures are topping 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's almost 40 degrees Celsius. New Yorkers are also sweltering in this summer's hottest weather yet, finding any way they can for them and their pets to cool off. Well, I feel nice and cool now. I wasn't before. <laughs> I personally think it's way too hot. <laughs> I'm sweating from everywhere. I feel hot, but I am enjoying the sun. Whilst some embrace the sizzling heat, others demand action, calling for Joe Biden to formally declare a climate emergency. The president did last week announce a $2.3 billion package to help build infrastructure that could withstand dangerous weather and natural disasters. However, his climate legislation is stalling in Congress, with a senator from his own party even withdrawing support for the bill. Mr. Biden insists he's prepared to use every tool available to him to combat global warming. But the clock is ticking, and the threat is only expected to worsen in the months to come. We have basically continued risk of extreme temperatures, 100 degree days, all the way out from here until at least early September. And so, as Americans protect themselves from the heat, the pressure mounts on the nation to protect itself from what could lie ahead. Benji Heyer, CGTN.